Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I decided to do two vlogs today. So yes, I'm wearing the exact same thing. But since it's been so long, I decided to make two vlogs for you guys. So you, yeah, because I've been slacking. So I am doing some interesting facts about Switzerland. So if you wanna learn more about Switzerland and why people love to live here, then stay tuned, I'm about to tell you. So some of these things you might already know but I just kind of threw in some really random things that even I have learned um, since being here for three months because yes, I knew a lot about Switzerland, but some things I just didn't know and you won't know until you get here. So let's jump right into it. These are just some basic things. So there are four official languages here in Switzerland. So there is um, Swiss German is number one, then there is also Italian, there is French, and then there is Romanche. So depending on which part of Switzerland you live in is what language is going to be primarily spoken there. So right now in Basel, the primary language spoken is Swiss German. Um, but if you go south with um, near Geneva, they speak just French there. Um, also in like Lugano by the border of Italy, they just speak Italian. So there are, yes, four national languages here, which is pretty crazy. Number two, so Swiss really, really value punctuality like a lot. Um, they like to be early, not late, not on time. So it's really funny actually because um, I mean the trains and the trams are usually like really punctual but if they are like one minute late I could already see people getting antsy like they're looking like where is it where is it and they're like getting upset <laughs> which is pretty crazy but it's kind of rubbed off on me too so now like if the tram or the bus is late I'm like where is it like what's going on so that is really interesting fact about Switzerland and Swiss people um, also, I saw online that the, the trains is one of the most punctual trains in the whole world. It's, I think online it said like it has 87% um, punctuality, which is pretty, it's pretty good. This is interesting. So if you work full time and you want a cat, you cannot have one cat. You have to have two cats because they want to make sure that that cat is not lonely which is, it's actually a really good idea, but yes. And also, I've been told by some friends that if you want a pet, you go through like extensive interviews and stuff. They make sure that your home is like well-suited to get an animal, just to make sure it's gonna be taken care of. Also, that you make enough money. Um, if you get a dog, your dog has to go to like um, puppy school and stuff, so it's well-trained, like it's mandatory. So <laughs> that's really interesting. But another thing about that is, I mean, from what I've seen, the people here really take it very seriously. Like I've never seen dogs being so well taken care of. Like really, they're really, really well taken care of here. Another thing, I've noticed that people do not really eat their fries with ketchup so often here. It's mainly either with mayo or this new sauce that I have just learned about, which is cocktail sauce. Let me show you what it is. So this is cocktail sauce. I never really liked it. I didn't, I don't even know if we had cocktail sauce in America. This is the first time I'm seeing it, but I love this sauce. Like, and I'm such a ketchup like fanatic. I put ketchup on everything, but now I have cocktail sauce on everything. If people don't use cocktail sauce, a lot of people eat their fries with mayo, which is interesting here. Um, every building has to have a bomb shelter here. Like every single building, it's a law. So houses, if you have a house or if you live in an apartment building, it's gonna have a bomb shelter. Just any building is going to have a bomb shelter. The school that I work at has a bomb shelter. <laughs> and it's like a legit bomb shelter with this huge iron like metal door that shuts and everything inside is concrete. So you have to have an, a bomb shelter. So Switzerland is prepared for any nuclear war. So marijuana is not legal here, which I'm kind of surprised about, but their laws are pretty loose. Um, this is not, so a lot of this information I got from friends, so it might be not completely accurate, but what I was told is if you, 
get caught with like under 10 grams of marijuana, it's like a slap on the wrist and you just have to pay like a very small fine. But what they're looking at is like selling quantities that you're actually gonna get in trouble. It's still, you're not gonna get like prison time or anything. But yeah, so marijuana is not legal here, but they do have dispensaries where they sell marijuana that is just like CBD oil. So it doesn't have the THC, so it's like the CBD oil, so it can be used for pain relief. And they have that in the form of like edibles and all that crazy stuff. Even iced tea. I found this iced tea at the store that has CBD oil and, it, and it's so good. But it's not enough to like give you a strong high. It's like a, this small little high. And so people just use it for pain relief. So clubs and bars stay open here until seven o'clock in the morning. It's pretty insane. Um, yeah, I've never heard of any place having bars open that long, but yeah, they're open for a very, very long time. <laughs> Lastly, so at 16, you can pretty much decide if you want to continue with school until 18 or you could stop school right there and go straight to work. They have what kind of like these apprenticeships. So at 16 you get to decide, okay, so I don't want to go to school anymore, but I know that I want to be, I don't know, I know I want to be like a bus driver. So then they have this apprenticeship where they go to work like full time to learn how to be a bus driver just from going so it's like an internship that they have so they have an internship and they get paid for it and that lasts for maybe two years and then they get it certified to do that so by like 18 they're set they have like a good job they don't have to worry about that which is really interesting that they can just kind of stop school at that age and make such a big decision so yeah, I have an internship, an intern in my class, she's 16, so she decided she doesn't want to go to school anymore, but she wants to be a teacher, so now she has like an internship that she does for a year, so she works full time in my class, and then after that she has like a trainee, training, which lasts I think another two years, where she like takes a few classes, I think she goes to like school maybe two work two days a week and then the rest she's still working so it's like I don't know how to explain it but it's interesting the system how it works for the school system um, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about it yet because at 16 it's so young like she works full-time like 40 hours a week crazy but anyways those are just some interesting facts about Switzerland I hope you enjoyed this video um, if you did please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one bye